Nina. Thanks so much for joining me today for a new tutorial. I'm bringing you some inspiration using the brand new Stamptember exclusive stamp set with Whimsy Stamps. This is the Happy Pugmas stamp set. And this set, I have to tell you, is pretty cute. There are a ton of fun and adorable pugs on this set. If you're a dog lover, I think this is going to be right up your alley. I'm going to be using this set today to create a Christmas tree, believe it or not. We're going to be stacking these characters together to create a non-traditional Christmas tree. Let's start by stamping the images. I'm going to take the images and some Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink and stamp them onto Nina White cardstock. I plan on Copic coloring these images, so the Nina White cardstock and the Intense Black Ink are the perfect combination for this. After I've stamped them, I'm going to also stamp an extra dog and a few presents and an extra Christmas tree. The reason I stamped an extra dog is because there are only five in the actual stamp set, and I wanted to have a total of six so that I could make a Christmas tree. So I stamped an extra reindeer dog, and I'm going to start coloring in my images. I'm using E40 markers to color in the pugs. I used really light colors, and then I also brought in some browns for the reindeer antlers. These images are super cute, and such a fun set of images to color and create some cute Christmas cards. For each of the pups, I wanted to add a little bit of a pink belly and some rosy cheeks, so I brought in a light pink marker to do that. And now we're going to start coloring in some of the smaller areas. Of course, we have to color in their tongues red. And I picked out a variety of Christmassy kind of colors to color in the Christmas trees, the scarves, the hats, the presents. All of these images I'm coloring with some really fun and festive colors. Now all of the evergreen elements in this card are all colored in the exact same green markers that I just used for coloring the dog that's dressed up like a Christmas tree. So just keep that in mind as I color in the rest of these images. I don't show you how I colored the other Christmas tree because I colored in the exact same way. Now we're gonna finish up some of the few smaller details. I really love this little elf man, he's so cute. And one of the things I did want to mention is that these dogs have some really fun expressions. But I'm going to alter them a little bit. I'm going to add some googly eyes to them in a little bit here when we go to put this card together. And that's because I wanted to create a slight interactive element to my card. But because I knew I was going to be stacking all these characters together, I didn't want to create something too bulky. Now there are coordinating dies available for this set, but I don't have them, so I'm going to just use my fussy cut scissors and I'm gonna cut all these images out. I'm finishing up the coloring by adding some white gel pen details to the dogs, the presents, and all the other fun elements in this set. And that's just gonna add some fun highlight effects. Here's where I brought in those googly eyes. I would encourage you to find some small googly eyes like these and make sure you have them in your stash because you never know when they could come in handy. And I thought these would be perfect for these dogs. These dogs have such fun and silly expressions that I thought the googly eyes would be a perfect complement for that. It gives them a little bit of an interactive feel, but it doesn't change too much how these dogs look. It still gives them those funny expressions, which I think is so important for this set because this set is very whimsical and very cute. So now we're ready to move on to creating the panel for our A2 card. My panel here is going to get glued onto a standard A2 size card. This is the exact same size as an A2 card. I just wanted to do a bunch of ink blending and such on this, so I didn't want to actually do it onto the card itself. So this is just going to give my card a little bit more of a sturdier feel. So I've ink blended some oxide ink onto the background and used a Simon Says Stamp Snowflake stencil to add a little bit of snowflake texture behind my little pugs. And I'm arranging them now into a Christmas tree shape onto my card. Isn't this cute? I love adding the little accessories like the small Christmas tree, the presents, and having those nestled in between the different areas of my tree of puppies because that really adds to that festive Christmas feel. I used a Simon Says Stamp snowflake die to die cut a few snowflakes that I could also adhere down onto my background. This enhances the snowflake background a little bit and just gives that snowy, frosty feel and I really like the contrast between the white and the blue. 
I added a few more dots of vintage Nouveau drops. These are white Nouveau drops, but these are the vintage matte color. I really like them. They work perfect for creating snow. So I added just dots of these in the background in between the snowflakes that I have for my stenciling and die cutting. And that's gonna fill in all the extra empty space. One of the sentiments in the stamp set says, hugs from the pugs. I think that is so cute. I white heat embossed that onto black cardstock and I'm adding that down along the bottom of my tree. This helps add a grounding element. Now we're almost done, but I wanted to stamp something on the inside. I don't get to decorate the inside as often as I'd like to, so I wanted to make sure I did that for this card. The inside's going to say Happy Merry Pugmas. It's one of the other sentiments that's in the set. I stamped that with Simon Says Stamp Lipstick Red Ink, and I'm going to stamp that same Christmas tree that I added to the front of the card on the inside, and I'll color it in the exact same way that I did for the front. Before I finish up the card, I wanted to add a few glossy accents to the ornaments on all of the trees. And of course, as you can see here, those fun googly eyes look so cute on these dogs. And we have the coordinating inside portion of the card matching the front, which I think looks really, really nice and cohesive. I hope that you were inspired by today's card featuring this adorable Whimsy Stamps Stamp Timber exclusive stamp set, available only while supplies last. Don't forget that any of these Stamp Timber exclusive collaboration sets with all the companies that are sponsoring Stamp Timber 2020 are only available for a limited time only. Once they sell out, they aren't coming back. So if you like this Mary Pugmas stamp set, you're definitely going to want to go ahead and grab it while you can. Thanks again so much for stopping by, spending time with us today, and I will be back soon with more to share. Have a very wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Bye!